Hey everyone, good evening. I'm going to keep this quite short because um, Boris is coming on soon, isn't he? And I think a lot of people want to tune in and see what he has to say, though I think we might be able to guess what is going to happen um, from tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start this week walking you through the different stages of labour. Um, I can't stress this enough. Um, most antenatal education programs, say hello who's ever there, and um, most antenatal education programs don't go through labour like I'm going to go through it with you and certainly not how I go through it on a course with me. Um, I don't mean that rude to other providers but I've done other antenatal education myself um, when I was pregnant and it didn't give me what I needed it to do. And then I found hypnobirthing. Um, it's a very different form of birth prep. I'm obviously biased towards hypnobirthing and that's because I chose it for myself and it, it gave me exactly what I needed it to do. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the different stages of labour, telling you about what's happening. Hi, um, where are you from, Avril? Um, telling you what's happening during each stage. I'm only going to do um, short videos, but I'll go through the basics with you. Um, I can't tell you the difference that actually when you're in labour and you're like, oh, we know this is normal. Rachel told us about this, or we watched that video with that girl in her pajamas. Um, we know this is normal. It doesn't half. It doesn't half make a difference to how you're feeling. Whereas most other antenatal education teaches you how to smother labour sensations with as many drugs and epidurals as we can. That's what I got from my other courses that I did when I was pregnant. I didn't actually learn how to cope with what was going on tonight is a busy night for doing a live video um so yeah the latent phase of labor and actually um most people think labor is a bit of a magical mystery tour and what i mean by that is we think that we don't know what's going to happen to us or how it's going to go for the most part i can't say 100 percent, obviously but for the most part labor and birth is very very predictable um all the different stages of labour are all in a specific order. All women go through each and every stage of labour. We can't do them in a different order. We can't go backwards. Um, they're all laid out in front of us. And I have a visual that I give my clients. Um, it's like a little roadmap and they can work their way along. The, and all, all the way along is like what you can do during every stage to make it better. Um, so the latent phase of labour barely get to mention um, on most antenatal programs. It's the very first stage of labour. It's classed um, as pre-labour, which I don't like that term. Basically, I think calling it pre-labour implies that it's in it's not significant and you're just waiting to get into like proper labour when actually it's very, very significant. And if you can approach the latent phase of labour nice and calm, relaxed, doing all the things um, that are going to make it so much better and so much more comfortable, you are much more likely. Bootle, I used to work in Bootle, um, Springwell Park Children's Centre, Avril, that's where I used to work. Um, if you can approach the latent phase with calm confidence, you are much more likely to hold on to that as labour progresses and intensifies. Um, so yeah, all the stages of labour are set out. So actually, if you choose to prepare for labour, you can actually learn very well exactly what is going to happen to you. Out of all the stages of labour, the latent phase is the hardest to describe, if I'm honest, because it's the one that does vary the most woman to woman um, in terms of how long it lasts. Um, every woman will have a latent phase of labour, whereas some women, um, hi Lucy, um, every woman will have a latent phase of labour, some women it might be like a blink and you miss it, oh, I'm scared, hi Claire, um, and they go straight into, or they seem to go straight into early labour, the next stage, which we'll do tomorrow, whereas some women seem to have a latent phase lasting <laughs> potentially <laughs> days, but there's ways of there's ways of shortening it down 
what's happening like on the inside during the latent phase of labour. Do you remember we were talking about the female reproductive system the other day and I said that the cervix is about two to three centimetres long so you've got your uterus and then at the bottom you've got your cervix which is like a tightly closed like canal, I don't know if that's the right word. Hi Helen! Um, and then the vagina below it. During the latent phase of labour, every surge that your body has, every contraction that your body has, is helping to soften um, and shrink the cervix down. So it goes from being really firm and quite tough, the cervix, to very, very soft. So it's a bit like going from like your nose, you have to do it if you're watching, touch your nose, um, to going as soft as your cheek, okay? And it also goes from being two to three centimetres long to tiny, tiny, like less than half a centimetre. That is what every surge in the latent phase of labour is doing. Your body hardly opens at all. We are obsessed with how open the cervix is to tell us kind of how quick we're progressing. And yeah, we want to be four centimetres, six centimetres, nine centimetres, but actually before any of that can even happen, your cervix has got to be soft and it's got to have thinned right out. But if you don't know that and you are examined and told you're only two centimetres or you say it to yourself, oh, I'm only two centimetres, it implies that all those surges have been in vain and not very much has happened, whereas actually loads has happened. Um, so that's what's happening on the inside. Your cervix is softening and thinning out, shrinking down. And if you were to be vaginally examined, you might be one centimeter open or closed. Okay. If you're having if you're having second or third baby, you're already about one centimeter. By the way, it always stays a little bit open. So well done. Um, what's happening on the outside in in the latent phase of labour? It's a bit of a messy stage, so to speak. Um, I call it surges all over the place. Okay, that's my technical term. And what I mean by that is there's no pattern to the surges whatsoever. Um, they come when they want. So they vary in strength, length and frequency. So some surges um, might last 10 seconds from start to finish. Some might last 30 seconds from start to finish um, some might be literally just feel a tingling and a tightening and you're like was that it and others might actually stop you in your tracks and you're like whoa kind of thing um, there might be five minutes break you know five minute rest period from one surge to the next and then there might be 30 minutes, then an hour, then 10 minutes, then 20 minutes. And you're like, what is happening? What is going on? They come as and when. There's no pattern to them. There's no predictability to them. Um, and most of the time, um, what I always say to people is if you're thinking, am I in labour? Am I not in labour? You're probably in the latent phase of labour. So just try and remember that line. Um, surges all over the place so that's something you and your birth partners can look for so you actually don't know when the next one's coming as you get further along in labour they get much more predictable and you kind of know when you do one but in the latent phase of labour you don't know whether you've got five minutes or whether you've got half an hour or whether actually that was your last surge for a few hours it's a very very frustrating stage of labour um, and women are usually quite chatty during the latent phase of labour. Surges are a bit of a novelty. And in my manual um, that I've drawn up, my beautiful client Pixie, um, they took loads of photos all the way through labour. And I can pinpoint just by looking at her face exactly what stage of labour in she's in. So I hope she doesn't mind me talking about this. She's let me put her photos in my manual, so I think she'll be all right with it. But in the latent phase of labour, her and a fella are posing for a selfie and she's smiling and she's giving loads of eye contact to the camera. Um, she was aware that she was having surges um, and some of them did kind of make her stop and concentrate, but most of the time she could chat, um, you know, and they were a bit of a novelty kind of thing. So that's the latent phase of labour um, and it can stop 
it can stop for a few hours sometimes it can stop for a few days um it's perfectly normal as long as you feel well it's perfectly normal um it's a very stop start am i in labor aren't i in labor um and it will progress at some point um, it's it yeah as I say it's the one that varies the most time wise but you're always moving forward in labour you're always moving forward and at some point you'll move on into early labour which we'll talk about tomorrow um very unexpectedly I've had people messaging me to do um like hypnobirthing courses like this which I've never done before um either one to one or in a group um which I'm really surprised about and really happy about actually I'd wondered whether people have realized that hypnobirthing isn't as crazy as perhaps the name implies so leave it with me I'm going to um work out the tech behind it I'm looking at messenger voice um video calls or whatsapp or getting a zoom account and um, the people who have inquired with me that they want to do this i've sent you messages and um, if it's something you'd be interested in um just just let me know and we can just have a chat about it but um yeah i'm, I'm gonna have a look and um, not set in stone but i'm gonna have a look and I actually feel quite excited about it and actually who knows how long this is all gonna go on for so that might be how my business goes but if you follow my page, um, when I if if I create it as an event, I'm almost certain I will. Um, you'll see when I'm gonna host an online live hypnobirthing course, and I can send you out through email all the the stuff that I send my clients. Um, or if you're interested, and if you know now that you might be interested, just send me a message and then I can let you know when it comes up. But yeah, that is the latent phase of labour. Tomorrow, tune in around eight o'clock um, and we'll do early labour. All right. Have a good night, everyone. And let's hope Boris is. Um, yeah, we'll see. Well, I think we know where it's going to go, don't we? But um, stay safe, everybody. And I hope you're enjoying these. If you um watching live and you've liked it and it's helped you in any way i'd really like it if you press the like um, button it really helps me thank you <laughs> um and if you watch it on the replay just press replay and then i can see what times people are watching all right or not press replay just write replay in the comments all right have a fabulous evening everybody Bye bye